Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we right now, though, are joined by Jamie Sama! Yeah, hell yeah! What's up, dude? What's up, what's up? What's, what's up, going? brother? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I need just a second to adjust the camera. If you could, could you please properly introduce yourself, let us know whereabouts in the world you are, and plug or promote anything you would like right now. Oh, and which favorite color is Skittle? <clears throat> uh, favorite kettle, uh, favorite kettle. Hey, we start with that. Hey. Purple, for I'm... sure. Purple? Um, purple, 100%. Um, I'm Jamie Staffa. I'm from Washington, D.C. Or I'm in Washington, D.C. right now. Um, I'm a multi-instrumentalist, I guess. So Ooh. Of... Talk to no, him. I, I Talk to him. Like Talk to him. But <laughs> I, uh, no, I, I play, um... I play all, so, all the uh, things that you hear recorded on there, and I record everything. I do the videos. That's about it. How many um, instruments can you play? You said you're multi-instrumentist. <laughs> I, I started off playing drums and singing, like singing when I was like way young, and uh, kind of picked up drums along the way. Um, and then uh, later on, I picked up guitar, bass, and I, I could play a little bit of keys, you know, um, but mostly I uh, do guitar, singing, and drums right now. It's kind of like my main main three. What would you say, for people that don't know your music, what is the perfect song to start off with? Um, I would probably say C-137 is more of uh, like my style in a nutshell. Uh, Day 52, I'd say, definitely fits uh, the show a bit more, though, after uh, listening to this first half. So I'll leave that up to you. Well, that's the thing. We're we're in any genre show, so we've any we've heard genre. it all, all right. but at the same time, we've not heard anything. Go for it, man. <laughs> Hanging out with Jamie Staffa. If you guys are feeling it, man, please, please go to Spotify, hit the follow button just like I have. Who does uh do you do your own uh production, like as far as the recordings and stuff go? Yeah, yep, yeah, I do all that nice. stuff. Yeah. What, do you, what do you use? Are you are you Pro Tools, Logic? What do you what do you use? Uh, I'm actually uh, both. I do all the production and Logic, and then anything like editing, um, actual mixing or uh, you know mastering, I do all that in Pro Tools. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll my, rephrase yeah. I'll rephrase because MIDI to me is the most pain in the butt thing in the world. What do you do your MIDI in? Uh, MIDI is in Logic. For okay, sure. okay. Logic is definitely the easiest for MIDI, for sure. Uh, yeah, Pro Tools is miserable. <laughs> it's the it worst. Oh it's the worst. God, I'm, I'm the worst. Pro Tools certified, and it's a nightmare. I, I, I would it's always a, yeah. do MIDI and Logic and then transfer, for sure. Nerd, nerd alert, everyone. nerd don't alert. Even, don't even bother. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's jam, let's jam Day 52 also. Um, let's talk about this particular record, though. Why, why call it Day 52, and what does the song mean to you? So Day 52, all right. Day 52, I actually wrote with... Um, I wrote like over um, like Zoom and just through emails with uh, my friend Billy Tag, um, who's in Florida. We used to be in a band, Harbor Escape, together. That was the last band I was in before I moved. I'm sorry about that. Um, day 52. All right. So I programmed the drums to this song um, as a drummer. I hate. I hate that I do that, but I program. I'm sorry. It's okay. But I, pro I programmed uh, the drums to to that song. Um, I sent it to him. Said, "Hey, man, here's the click track. Uh, here's the tempo. Here's the song. Just have at it, man." And he sent me back these like whatever you hear there is pretty much what he sent me. And um, just back and forth, the song kind of developed from there. And then um, I uh, went in and did the vocals at the studio I was working at, and it was a. Uh, yeah, and then like we put it out shortly after. Um, the the, the is, is the is the title about... because it took that long to on the back and forth to like finalize no, it, was, it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The the title of it came from uh, it was day fifty two of uh, lockdown in Florida when I sent it to him. So it's just like, hey, here's a song, day fifty two. I sent, I wrote it on like day fifty two of lockdown, um, from uh, COVID. So that's the name. What part of Florida? <laughs> uh orlando <laughs> i was like yeah sorry to bring it up um uh orlando 
I used to live in Orlando, Florida. I used to live in Oviedo. Oh yeah. Oviedo. Do Oviedo, you know? Yeah. Do you know where Oviedo is? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah! I, I actually went to uh like went to full sale. I went to full sale. Oh word! Nice. Yeah. Jamie, are you a gamer? Um, I play Call of Duty Zombies and The Last of Us, and that's about it. <laughs> so, so anything like zombie related, gaming wise? Uh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you play Call of Duty Mobile by chance? Uh, no. It's gonna hurt you now. <laughs> Damn it! No one, <laughs> no one plays Call of Duty Mobile. I play Call of Duty Mobile for like two or three hours every single day. I'm like, I would, I would dare I say a borderline pro player. But anyway, Call Call of, obviously he's an audio engineer, so he has a sick computer. He ain't playing on his fucking. But he's phone. playing he's zombies, playing and there's baby. zombies on mobile. I'm just asking. Anyway, what, what is what is the what would you say is the the best video game? ever made uh i mean uh, I'll say, i'm extremely i'm extremely limited on my video games but i'll, I'll just say the the last of us one and two Ooh. for sure my favorite um they're also like one of the only games that i've played so <laughs> fair enough fair enough but they are <laughs> they are my favorite for sure uh lloyd what do you have what questions do you have for jamie yeah like the the subtle change, like the one song was a little softer and it's heavier. Is that like the direction you want to keep going and keep mixing it up like that? Or are you finding yourself leaning more towards one way or another? So I'm definitely, um, I'm on like, I'm torn. Like I like to do the heavy stuff. I also like to do the uh, softer stuff. Like the next song that's coming out is like a, a slower, like it starts off acoustic, but then it builds up later on. Um, so I want to kind of go between, uh, you know, between the two styles and kind of blend the two together. You know what I mean? Like just kind of just keep doing like a crossover as much as I possibly can. Hell yeah. Very cool. Did you, did you find it weird that we, uh, coincidentally, but on purpose booked it from first to last artist the day that you were on. And I see it's uh, plugged in your, in your Spotify Dude. bio. <laughs> we, try, that, we try, we try, bro. Like, we try. Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was fucking cool, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, talk to me about awesome. like what, I mean, the fact that, that, that they were on, I know this is kind of a weird question to ask you, but, uh, what, it's in your bio. What did what did from first last mean to you, like musically, as far as being a musician? Like, what particular album or song gravitated you? Oh man! All right. So the first time I I heard them was on Fuse, and I'll I'll be honest, I didn't like it. <laughs> but you didn't like it. My friend, my no no. But then my friend said, "Hey, you gotta listen to this band," and I listened to it. And I'm like, "Wow!" I heard the song like a week ago, and I didn't like it. But this is it was note to self, and that like that drew me in right there. I mean, I feel like that was probably for most people, but that whole album was amazing. I love Terrain. I honestly love their whole discography, um, like everything. Uh, drumming. I mean, that was the guy that I used to drum to. Man, I was like, "That's this is pretty cool." Facts. You know, <laughs> we try, we try to, to make it yeah, all, I make it all. Chiodos, I fucking could not stand them, but it grew on me over time. Like I heard it randomly and I was like, oh, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, I was kind of the same way. Song, yeah. I, I liked all Neroids Beware or however you want to say it. But, and then I didn't really like Alaska or the rest of that album until uh Grand Coda came out. And then I like really deep dived in the Cheetos' catalog. And I was like, well, let me go back. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh man, I was a... I didn't like the tone the of his voice, one. but when I started to learn how to sing, I realized what he was doing, and I was like, "Oh, this motherfucker, bad ass." Yeah, yeah, yeah. for real. <laughs> Craig, Craig's the man. Here, Craig's the man. First, it kind of takes me back. I was like, "Ah, I don't know if I like that." And then I realized what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. Jamie, yeah, what's what's ass, what's so another yeah. song in your catalog that we absolutely have to hear? Um, uh, play play. I'm gonna break your heart. That's Let's a go. fun song. Hey. Okay, so weird question time, Jamie. Weird question time. Do you right, have any phobias? And what's one food you refuse to eat? Uh, all right, for food, I'll pr probably oh. like the crazy exotic things like like brains or you know testicles. <laughs> I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably pass on that stuff. <laughs> no monkey, no monkey balls or. Or bull. No monkey balls for me. I'll I'll pass. Okay. Um. And uh, phobias. I'm 
starting to realize I have like I'm pr- probably a little claustrophobic. <laughs> For real? Um, okay. Yeah, just like not nothing like crazy. Just I'm starting to see. I'm like, okay, like yeah, you definitely like your space for sure. <laughs> Trying to remember BGs. Was it heights? You said you weren't scared of heights, but like you, you don't like them. Okay, so I'm not scared of heights. I'm scared of heights in the fact that if if I know an act, this is so weird. I don't even know what the close. name of this phobia we is, but like. I like I'll go on roller coasters. I'll go on stuff like that because I know I'm safe in the thing. But if I'm on like the, if I'm on like a roof and there's like no railing, I will not go to the edge of the roof and like look over. I don't know what that fear is called. I feel like I've had this reoccurring dream when I was a kid that like someone stumbles and like bumps me off a high thing and there's no railing and I fall and it really. F- freaks me out like all the time and so i don't know yeah. what that phobia is but i have it <laughs> yeah that's uh i'd say that falls under fear of heights of some kind of man that's, that's i was I, close that's enough relatable, bro. Yeah. <laughs> some kind of fear of heights dude you have like to you're on a day you know you're half listening i, I heard you girl you know whatever <laughs> someone just goes hey what? that guy stumbled no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'll but uh, heights, fam. Jamie, you have two kind of crazy posters behind you. If you look behind you, it doesn't, it matter. doesn't matter. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter what, what posters are behind you. <laughs> because it's time to play one more Jamie Stoffa song right now. We're gonna play 13. You miss the fact uh, that yes. that Warp Tour doesn't exist anymore. And did you yeah, attend? Man, did you would... attend a lot back in the day? I went to uh, Bamboozle more, but um, yeah, it's a, do you know what Bamboozle is? It's a, uh, like, it's like a Warped Earth kind of festival that was in uh, New Jersey. I went to that more. Um, I know Cir- I, I know Circa Survivors Earth. played Bamboozle a couple times for sure. Yeah, it was the same bands. I mean, I, I, um, man, I went to Warped Earth quite a few times. I do miss it. Uh, I that do whole miss it too. Uh, scene. Are you, uh, you guys going to a when we were younger festival or nah? I am planning on going to the when we were young festival. I don't yeah. have tickets. I had the the pre thing all set up. I had multiple devices and I still didn't get tickets. And then I when they announced the second weekend, I was like, I don't know. But I'm still gonna be in Vegas that weekend. But I'm actually really excited. I'm gonna plug somebody else's thing. But uh, yeah. yeah, pancakes in the pit when we were hungry festival. I'm actually for sure going to be attending that. So that's basically um, our homies in Modern Day Escape are putting on like yeah. uh, all the bands that they thought should have been booked for the When We Were oh, Young Festival. Yeah. And it's in it's in a coalition, correlation, one of those words, with Denny's. And uh, it's a two-day event, and I'm, I'm planning <laughs> on going to that as well. As And uh, I'm going to throw out one random festival that has nothing to do with what we just talked about, but it's called the Lovers and Friends Fest. Which I think started all of this. The Lovers and Friends Festival is like really? an ultimate lineup of like rappers and R and B artists. Like a hundred. And I was like, me and my homie were like, we have to go to this. And then people didn't even think that was real, but it was completely real. And sold out like right away. And then Snoop Dogg's now like co hosting and presenting it and stuff like that. And then all these other festivals like popped up and I was like, Man, when we were young fest, dude. Hell yeah! Who was your <laughs> who's your favorite artist on the lineup though? Um, I think right now it's Silverstein. I I've, I've been loving their newer stuff, man. Shout out to Shane, man. Silverstein is uh, your some legend. Rick and Morty episode. Um, it's whatever That's not an uh, episode. <laughs> it's whatever the episode of C137. All that shit happened. I forget what episode that was. Is in the first Rick Sanchez season. Sanchez C137. C137. Gotcha. <laughs> Tell me it lands on Rick and Morty scene right now. Oh, please. Okay, I please, spun please. it and it landed on Pick the Next Song. And. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I'm deciding it landed on Pick pick a Rick and Morty scene of your choice, Lloyd. Why do I gotta pick a scene? I could just talk to you guys like you're hanging out with the real Rick and Morty. Oh, jeez, Rick. It's like right here, man. Ooh, we're gonna hang out and smoke some weed and. 
Oh, I'm just going to think of Jessica the whole time. Morty, get Jessica out of your head. We're listening to some music, Morty. This is local band Smoke Out. We're about to have our own festival. Yeah! We're going to get hella drunk and smoke weed. Oh, jeez, Rick, I don't know if you should announce that to the world. Don't worry about it, Morty. It's all what it's about. Smoke weed. <laughs> smoke weed awesome. every day. He practices. He's good at it. He's good at it. Practice a lot, yeah. <laughs> You made my night, man. <laughs> Jamie, out. are you down to review some bands with us and or do some trivia? Yeah, I'll probably fail at all the trivia, but let's let's do it, man. Regarding the <laughs> trivia, let me know what your strongest knowledge is. Star Wars, South Park, Simpsons, any TV show series, South any Park. South, South Park, Park heard. <laughs> Jamie, what'd you think of that one? Nothing for you. Oh yeah. That was awesome. Would you say that would that that's kind of up your alley? Or that yeah, a, l a yeah. little too heavy? Like, do you prefer? No, I dig that stuff. What's what's your... I listen to it all, man. What's your what's something that you listen to that we would not expect whatsoever? Um, I uh that you wouldn't expect. Um, man, I'm pretty predictable. <laughs> uh, let me think for a second. Like a genre that we totally would just whoa. Oh, I. Oh, I like uh, lo-fi, like lo-fi beats. Okay, cool. Know, just, That's just cool. Chill. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's check out MB14. Yeah. But before we do, this is your South Park trivia. Are you ready? Oh, man. All right. <laughs> what was the name of the substitute teacher that Wendy wanted to get rid of and did that took Stan out to dinner? Man. I'll give you a hint. Wendy had her shot straight into the sun. Oh, I can't I can't hear it, the music. Sorry. What Wendy it's had like... her shot straight into the sun. That's your hint. Oh my god. No, I don't know, man. It's <laughs> no all good. Idea. No worries. <clears throat> MB14. Oh, wolf. For the second, I'm sorry, third stump of the day. Gotcha, bitch. The answer was Miss Ellen. Miss Ellen was the answer that we were no. looking for on that one. That was a good one. No, it wasn't. Don't tell him that. Lies. <laughs> I'll give you an easier one. Staying in the South Park trivia. We have like serial killer trivia. I give us real shit, man. <laughs> the next one I'm going to ask, we've asked before. We've asked this question before, the next one. Some horror course. William H. Morbid, who may be becoming a supporter of the show very, very soon. Uh, speaking of that, guys, if you're watching and you are a Facebook supporter, your name is on this wheel. I know it looks insane, but every time we hit a thousand, the next interval of a thousand followers on Facebook, we spin this wheel and someone gets the biggest giveaway we ever do on the show. It's approximately worth about two hundred dollars worth of stuff. Completely. Is my name on this wheel? No, it is not on I the wheel. I work for you. <laughs> Take it out of my paycheck, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gonna... I'll put I'll yeah. put it like what this. Are you doing? Yeah. I hope I win just to spite everyone. The Texas <laughs> Rattler. My back hurts. I carry BG all day. Lizzie, look Woo! at this. I see you. <laughs> look at Lizzie right here. With the 30 extra entries. <laughs> so one of the things on the wheel is you get extra entries in the giveaway. And uh, there's a hell of a lot of them. Heck yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and play another song with uh, with Jamie and see, see what he thinks about it. And we're going to play Rage is My Rival next. All right. Rage is My Rival with which way? Here we go. What do you guys think of that? Yes. My, he said yes. <laughs> what was it? What, what's it missing? What's it missing though? 
Oh wait, what, I'm sorry. What'd you say? I'm just saying, like, what what were your thoughts on like what what was the song missing if it if you didn't like fall in love with it? What was it missing? Oh no, I liked it. I uh, I thought it was good. I didn't hear what your question was. I thought you asked if we could hear that. I thought I didn't know what you said. My bad. Uh, no, I I liked it. Um, I would have liked you know if it came in a little bit earlier. It looked like you skipped to uh, like a minute, a minute and a half, right? But I honestly I liked it. Slow burn song, you know. It's a slow burner. So burn. This we could be on the copyright bots, bro. They'll get us. Yeah, Jamie, no, no. <laughs> Jamie this could be the Not most yet. important question I've asked you this entire interview. Are you prepared for this? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. Who is Eric Cartman's real father? Oh, what? All right. So, isn't like. I got confused about this because it's his mom, but then they said it's not later on. It's, um, it wasn't, was it, uh, no, I don't even know this. Was it John Elway? Was that his <laughs> morning, kid? It is not any member of the, of the Denver Broncos. No, no, nope. You get one more try. Chat Morning has children. already chat has already gotten it, but I just want to see if you get one more guess and you can see it. The chat got it. Chat has already gotten um, it. <laughs> I'm trying to cheat here. <laughs> um, his... I'm it's sorry. John that is it. Okay. It is Jack Tennerman. Who is Jack Tennerman? I thought she was So Scott Tennerman is Cartman's like oh ultimate God. rival bully that beats him up all the time. Yeah, Ironically, oh, it man. is Scott <laughs> Tennerman's dad, Jack Tennerman. Wow. <laughs> Lachias with uh, yes. Chaos High at Lachias Bands. We're going to find them. So, uh, Jamie, this is a weed show. I got to ask. Yes, sir. Do yes, you uh, smoke weed every day? <laughs> is it? Is it? <laughs> what's what's the deal with your cannabis in in uh, usage? Um, I'm pro. I just can't currently, but I'm uh, you know, I'm all That's, for it. Why does everybody can't? I know. Man, it's, it's the government, you know. <laughs> uh, Mother <laughs> government, I swear. Government, I uh, take me down. I swear. I'm trying to keep us. Down Pretty sure ball. Akon has a song about this. Jamie, uh, what is, yeah. <laughs> what is, uh, let's say I have to do a shoey here in a second, but uh, have you ever done a shoey? Never done a shoey. Okay, cool. Don't don't, don't oh, do a shoey. No, but for real, uh -oh. uh, what would you say uh, is your is your favorite genre of movie? Horror, for Horror. sure. Uh, yes, wh sir. What's what's the most gory film that you can think of right now? Um. It's either like uh, a hostel or this like older movie, Cannibal Holocaust, is pretty. Uh, yeah, that one's that one's pretty violent. You're yeah, right. <laughs> that one. Like is... It's old. It's like older and gritty. It's like ugh, the it feels the. Realer. I think it's hostel. It's either hostel two or three, where the the chick in the bathtub like slits the person like this and does the bathtub. I, th I think that was two. I yeah, think that, that that's pretty. Yeah. That's that's a pretty gory scene. Pretty pretty brutal yeah. <laughs> yeah hell yeah so i was watching blues clues one time and he like put the paw on the notebook jamie what is what is the day a day in the life of yourself you wake up what do you what do you do like in a normal day what's your routine i wake Don't up a little makeup wake up put a little makeup uh, <laughs> wake up. I, uh make some coffee um, probably hop on here, do some work and then, uh, head to the main job. Um, do that, head back home and then just chill for the rest of the night with my fiance, you know, Excellent. it's a good life. So that is a Hang good life. The animals, the fiance. <laughs> that is a good life for sure. To tell people about us yet, dude. Come What's on. that? You weren't supposed to tell people about us. Come on, stop, <laughs> We're going to check out one more band uh, with, uh, with, with right Jamie real quick. <laughs> this is Breaking Serenity. It just kind of, it seems like he just has a little emphasis on uh, vocals, which is cool. Sometimes, uh, yeah, yeah, not bad. Uh, dude, can you plug or promote 
everything that you have coming up the rest of 2022, whatever you would like. Awesome. All right, rest of 2022. <laughs> I have a new song coming out uh, March 15th. Um, it's a uh, you know a bit of a slower song, but I'm gonna follow that up with a uh, a cover of Too Close by Alex Clare and, um, and s another song that's got a little bit more energy too. Um, I am like kind of looking to get a you know a couple people mm -hmm. together to play uh, a couple shows around here, but that's it. It's videos and music. Trying to release more stuff. What do you need to put on the shows? Um, a band. I don't have a band. I, it's a solo project right now. Call, you, call out right now. Yeah. You're in this area. This is what you need. Call, it, call every I'm individual in Maryland, thing. DMV area. Hit me up. Um, Jamie Staffa on everything. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Jamie, Jamie Staffa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I Love liked. It. I liked. Jamie Every and I are song. We confirm that Staffa. Let's go. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I, I liked every song we played today, but the one that resonated with me the most was "I'm Gonna Break Your Heart." I totally am gonna be jamming that on on in future for sure. Off stream, awesome. everything. I really enjoyed that one, dude. Thank you so much for hanging out with us for a little while, man. We really appreciate hey, man. it. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Really. Honestly, thank you, sir. A lot. Yeah. Have a safe night, brother. Thank you. Cheers, dude. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Jamie Stava! Yeah, hell yeah! One more time. Guys, please.